Welcome to Survival on the Skinny with Steve and Kenny. Uh, today we're going hunting. All right. Not an animal, but we're going hunting pine pitch. Pine pitch is pine resin that acts like a band-aid for the pine tree. Whenever a pine tree gets injured, scraped, another tree knocks the bark off, whatever, the pine tree resin form a scab if you will to protect the tree pine pitch is excellent glue it's excellent for first aid it's an awesome fire starter okay um but first off we got to find it so what you find we're going to be looking for essentially what looks like a scab okay uh if you've ever noticed walk through the woods and you've come across a pine tree and a pine tree's got like a looking almost like a greenish turquoise trail coming down it a lot of times that's the sap so without further ado let's do some scouting i'm here on one of my favorite trails so i'm sure we'll find something all right y'all come on Walking along, beautiful day today. Oh. I see. Uh, I ain't y'all see it? If you look closely, see that right there? That is a chunk of pine pitch. Okay. First things first, now that we've found some, you need to get something to carry. Now, whenever I'm out scouting, whether I'm foraging or scouting pine pitch or cutting a new trail or whatever, I've always got some sort of a scout pack on my back. I've got a 10 that I have used and will only use for pine pitch. This stuff, once it melts down, it's nice. You, you use 110 and that's it. Use that same 10 over and over and over and over and over. Okay. Keep it in a little plastic bag. Keep some charcoal in there. Anyhow. This is the same 10 I use over and over. This is the pine pitch. Now, we're not just going to go ahead and just stab into the tree and pry it all out. We, we don't need that much. Uh, again, this is this is a scab on the pine tree. Help them keep the tree good and sturdy. So, what we want to do is we want to just harvest a chunk of it. Um, as need situation, like I say, what's already in this tin in this corner What's in this corner right here, I can reheat and reuse it. So I really don't need that much, but you're just gonna get in there. It's gooey, sticky. Get in there and get you a chunk of it. Okay. See that right there? Okay, you can find a lot of this at like the base of a tree anywhere the pine tree's been injured. So, just going in and it's extremely gooey, sticky sticky gooey stuff but that's what you're looking for okay all right okay as I was getting ready to walk out and leave come across this remember how I was telling you that it is essentially the scab now all this is no good don't mess with these leaves but 
You see where this tree had been scraped? The bark scraped off of it right here? All around this edge is pure pine resin, which is pine pitch. So, and let me get rid of this guy here. See all this here, I hope you can. All this is pine pitch in the purest form right there. I'm gonna get my tin back out and I'm gonna collect some of this. This is this is gold right here. And as a side note, I want to mention that when you get at this pure if you're in the woods and you get a cut on yourself, find a young pine tree that's got sap just flowing. Scrape a section of the bark off. Get down just like this. If you get it down to the meat of the tree. And you will see the sap just start to bubble out. Take that pure bubbled out sap and put it right on the sore. Put it right on the cut. That will help to seal the cut. Uh, trappers have been doing this for hundreds of years but using pine pitch and that will close a wound up and keep the wound clean okay to avoid affection infection okay anyway I'm gonna get my tan back out because this is gold right here buddy all right Okay, I want to show you how flammable this is. It's like nature's gasoline. Taking a, just a very little stick. I broke it so I can get kind of a point. See this real clear sap? I don't know if you can or not. But get some of that real clear stuff on the end of a stick. Like that. This stuff is just oozing out of this tree. So, see that? Now I'm just going to use a lighter because I'm just showing you. But, make torch. You know, pine trees are excellent resources i mean they really are i mean they give and give and give pine needle tea great tea all right but anyway see how i got the sap on there okay just gonna use just a lighter but anyway you like that stuff buddy i mean it's that flammable see that now we've got our pine pitch, okay, and what we're going to do is put it over a fire and get it into a liquid form. And by the way, I'm using a green sapling just to hold the tin. It's not going to take a whole, whole lot of heat. You can see it boiling already. Put some heat to it and get it to melt down again it don't take a whole ton of heat to make it happen now there's no exact formula for this um what i have found is two parts pine pitch one part of ash or beeswax works excellent. Ash will work, ash from the fire. And charcoal. You got two parts pitch, one part 
ash, one part charcoal. You see it boiling? And I mean turn it into just liquid. And that's what you're after. Hope you can see the bowling on camera. Remember, this stuff is very flammable. So don't get any flames on it, your whole tin will catch on fire. That's looking pretty good. Almost all that now is boiled down. See it boiling? Just stir it up, just make sure everything gets boiled out. I got a wood chip right there. That's pitch, it's not melted yet. Hopefully y'all can see this. Get that piece out of there. Okay, so I got me a puddle of pitch going. There's our pine pitch. Just took it out of the fire. Still very, very liquidy. Before it hardens up, this is just ashes. Put some ash in there. So all this is just some ashes out of the fire. Again, beeswax works best. And some charcoal. Now the charcoal, you're going to want it powdered up fine. So just crush it up. Just crush it in. So you got fine powder. That's looking pretty good right there. Again, I'm about two parts pitch, one part ash, one part charcoal. Again, it's a good reference point, get you started off. Um, you may have to, if it's real brittle when it hardens, add a little more pitch. If it's too gooey, Add some charcoal and ash. Okay, got it there. I'm gonna go back to the fire, melt it in. Be right back. Okay, it's melted in. See how it just turned the liquid. And what you use this for <clears throat> is repairing tarps. Fixing arrowheads to arrow shafts. Anything you could use glue for is what you use. Okay, attaching an arrowhead to arrow shaft using pine pitch and some sinew. Wrap it up. That thing is glued in and solid. If you're going to repair a tarp, Tarp got a hole in it. I like using a green leaf. Put the hole right over top of that green leaf. There's the hole. Using my pine pitch. It done cool down a little bit. It's too hard. I gotta warm it back up. Using my pine pitch glue. Just 
go right over it, right over the hole. Get that chunk out of there. Peel the leaf off the back. Do a little bit of pine pitch came through right there. And there you go. Your hole is patched. It is watertight. Give it a minute. And she's there. Alright guys. That's pretty much it. Pine pitch glue, you know, it's anything that needs to be glued, you can glue it. Play with it, practice it, go out in the backyard, find pine tree, get you some pine pitch, mix it up in a tin. Just play with it. Again, if it's too malleable, add some charcoal and some ash. If it is too brittle, where when you press it down, make it flat, dry, you know, push it all together. Uh, and it's extremely brittle, use some more pine pitch. Okay? Questions, comments, love seeing them, just put them below. All right. Y'all have a great day and thanks for watching.